religious one. In their religious cycle, in their religious cycle, the infidelo cons would be eclectic, to say the least. The majority of the Mongols were animists slash shamans. They tended to believe in spirits permeating the world, usually tied to elemental forces of nature, about its sky, about its bodies of sea, or of the earth. Okay, but through their contacts with the weaker Turks, many of whom live now in Western China, the weaker Turks are originally going to introduce the Mongols to Manichaeism of all things. And we talked about, you know, the ideas of the prophet man and his revolt. Uh, his religious revival, I should say, under uh, Cartier, using the Zoroastrian like priest in the late 1800s. Now, um, you're going to see some of the Mongols develop Manichaean ideas. Ulagu and his son, and you don't have to take down his son's name, it's Abaka. Ulagu and his son will remain lifelong animals. Ulaku would first favor Nestorians even though he'd have vestiges of animism. Most of the Mongols in Iran though, at the beginning, most of the Mongols in Iran at the beginning of the year of the Devil Hill Khan would be Buddhist in their proclivities. And the type of Buddhism they have would be the Kashmiri there from the province of Kashmir in northern India, which uh, uh, Pakistan and, and India have differences about over the last couple of decades. So uh, basically you're going to see a lot of the original Mongols patronize a Kashmiri form of Buddhism. But over time, the Mongols will assimilate most easily with Islam. And the reason why the Mongols will assimilate most easily with Islam is it is a majority of, it's a majority faith of Western Asia. It's a majority faith of Iran. And it's significant among Iran's pastoral zone which is to say that it's easier for the Mongols to rule over Iran and its environment if they have the same home as a people. They're not seen to be alien over if they adopt that And remember about Islam, it's a universal thing. Anyone can be a Muslim. You live in Albania, you can be a Muslim. You live in Detroit, you can be a Muslim. You live in uh, in West Africa, you can be a Muslim, East Africa, Indonesia. It's a universal thing. It's not a religion of local It's not a national religion. Okay, now, I want to spend most of my